It's been eight months now. At first, he was yelling at me, and I think I preferred that. Maybe I even deserved that after all I'd put him through. In the beginning, it was the little things. A paper here, a picture there. Then the table disappeared, and then the lamp. Even so, it's better than the uneasy silence that hangs in the air like our missing tattered curtains. Recently, I've been feeling like he is slipping away. The furniture disappears in a strange way. If they were robberies, why not the new table we bought when we moved in? Or the new flat screen TV? Who needs a baby blanket? Who needs an old school uniform? Who on earth would take a photograph of my ex-husband and I? Now that I look back, it all seems so odd. Fighting over memories and splitting up experiences as if one of us was more entitled to the past than the other. David never said anything. Since the divorce, communication with David has been difficult. Every night, he just comes home long after school ends and locks himself in his room. He doesn't even let me in. It's not like I'm not making an effort. Plenty of times I knock on his door and beg him to let me in so that we can talk. But it's no use. He refuses to talk, listen, or even just take his meals with me. I think he's up to something. Everything I thought my son would never do. Every time he comes home late, doesn't say much, doesn't even look at me. We used to have a rule about dinner as a family. Now he says there's no point. I know he doesn't see the two of us as a family, but it's just the two of us. Maybe we ought to be closer. He wants to leave me, leaves a divorce, leave everything behind. He's always looking out the windows. Why? Other children must get used to it after a while. Our financial situation is not bad. We live in a nice neighborhood. And yet I get the feeling that he's angry. Wants nothing to do with me.